I did not get fired. I resigned. So, if you resigned, why would the president say he fired you? He believes he makes all the decisions, therefore I couldn't resign. He had to fire me. Simple as that. I get the feeling that Donald doesn't appreciate the position of national security advisor, that it's not going to be an important position anymore, there really isn't going to be much of a process under Trump. True. He's basically created a do-nothing position in his mind, because, he wants to make all the decisions, he doesn't understand the value of, give and take, in order to come to an intelligent decision when confronted with, or trying to solve a problem. How is it that guys like Pompeo and Nukin are managing to survive in the Trump environment? They never disagree with the president in public and they kiss his ass in private. I find that hard to believe, there must be some times when they disagree. Yes, but never to the point of taking a stand. There were times when they agreed with me, but never took a stand. You saw them at the press conference. They were happy I was gone. A couple of brown nosers. I get that, but have you ever considered bending, agreeing to some position that you are against, in order to show you're a team player, in the hope that the next time your view will be accepted? No. I don't bend. Bending is a sign of weakness. I don't bend. I'm against meeting with Iran without any preconditions. I don't trust them. Tell me what we have achieved so far with Kim Orzi. Nothing. President Rouhani called you the warmonger-in-chief. How do you respond to that? I'm a hawk. I don't believe in pussyfooting around. Before I would do a deal with Iran or North Korea or the Taliban, they would need to give us something. I'd let them know that I'm prepared to eat their livers. I'm a hawk. Megan, he's never going to change. Heshi, you are right. I don't agree with his views at all, but I appreciate his willingness to stand up for what he believes.